Alright, hello everybody. It's Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. That's right. The most lamest holiday of the year. <laughs> please, please. This year, please. No, no April Fool's jokes. <laughs> Let's do the thing real quick and then we'll get started. Uh, Sempro, Sempro, the best, uh, uh, Rob the Robot Super Smash Bros. player in all of Australia, maybe even the world. <laughs> hello, uh, Poikos, Poikos, hello, is it actually Thursday over in, uh, Australia? got to skip the terrible holiday. <laughs> uh, Poinkles, what day is it in, uh, what is this? Northern Ireland? No. So Southern Ireland? No. Scotland? <laughs> no. Poinkles, what, what day is it? Hi, Poinkles. Uh, Pokemon fans 18. Scott, hello. Good to see you. <laughs> Lorenzo says, I'm not here. Ha, <laughs> April Fools, I'm actually here. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, uh, I heard there's an event going on in Animal Crossing today, huh? Bunny Day, Bunny Day has already started. So we're gonna hop in uh, Animal Crossing and see what's going on. Oh, good morning. Well, good whatever time it is where you live. Hello. <laughs> let's uh, let's hop into the old Animal Crossing. Probably gonna jinx it, but. We haven't dropped a single frame. Huh? Isn't that, isn't that good? <laughs> and now it's gonna crash. Oh, goodbye everyone. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but so far, so good. I don't know what's going on, but today looks like a good day. April Fool's Day is canceled. I hope so. What a stupid holiday. Oh, that's a that new guy that just moved in. Good morning, everyone. Right now on G Spot, it's 9:45 a.m. on Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. And don't forget, Bunny Day is just a few hops away. I guess that means we can expect a change in the weather. Why is it that as soon as we get used to one season, the next one is already upon us? Now, for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a, B, uh, a, what, a big G-spot welcome to Pecan. Didn't I find a, a... Tomo, thanks for the host. Didn't I find yesterday a bottle with a message in it from Pecan, 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 it's the same person, Pecan, on behalf of your new island family, welcome aboard, that's all for now, I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days, wait, no, it wasn't in a bottle, 
I just read the sold sign in front of the house. <laughs> False alarm, chat. Also, I shouldn't have opened my mouth because we just dropped some frames. Wow. It was nice knowing you. Mayfly! Mayfly, hello. Good to see you. Dear Glowgasm, thank you for maintaining your Bank of Nook account. We do appreciate your business. Your earned interest of 500 bells has been added to your account. Oh, I'm rich. <laughs> wow. 500 bells. Uh, dear Glowgasm, a new resident moved to a plot you set up. As a small token of our appreciation, we put a thousand nook miles into your account. We hope you spend them on something that makes you happy. My impish little Glowgasm. Every time I look at the birthday present you got me, I got him a bidet, chat. <laughs> Every time I look at the birthday present you got me, I think about you. Not in a weird way, just in the totally normal way that friends think about each other. Anyway, I got you something too. M most sincerely, Klaus. <laughs> He thinks about me every time he jet streams his asshole. <laughs> oh, I hear that. Well, hold on. I hear that. Where are you? There you- whoa. Wait, whoa, what's going on? Hello! Hello! <laughs> I missed your face too. How's it going, Hellkit? Thank you for the 34 months. Why is there so many balloons? I'm not prepared for this many balloons. I was just trying to read my mail. I hope at some point these slow down. There's way too many balloons. Okay, wait. W what did Klaus get me? What is this? A star costume. Alright. I'll check that out in a minute. And we got a bunny day stool from from the, the balloon. Huh. Okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a bunny day stool. Wait, like poop? Stool? <laughs> Do I not have cherry blossoms? No, I've, I've set to uh, southern hemisphere, not northern hemisphere. Uh, Glowgasm, patron of the arts, behold! My piece inspired by the red dragonfly is at last finished. I work tirelessly to capture its likeness for you, and I hope you enjoy it. May it bring bugs even further into your heart. Flick, the arthropod artiste. Oh, okay. Thank you. I gave him red dragonflies. If you haven't noticed. Let me say hi to this guy. Ain't you lively, Glowgasm? Me? I'm just giving the old bones a rest. He just moved in yesterday. Hold on. I keep 
hearing balloons. Ooh, money, <laughs> my favorite. I hear another balloon. Where are you? No, 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 Alright, Seb, hope you got, uh, have a good rest. Thanks for visiting. I hear another balloon. That's an egg? What? That's an egg, not a fish. What should I do with it? <laughs> Okay, balloons, please. Calm down. With all these eggs, I can think of one solution. Omelets. What if they're chocolate eggs? What if it's chocolate inside? Let's see. Uh, today's hot item is a fountain. Oh. Okay. Hold on, I need to check the uh, the stock market. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Okay, so welcome. Welcome. What do you need today? Uh, I want to sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Offering. Uh, let's see here. This crap, this crap, more crap, lots of crap. Crap everywhere. Okay, looks good. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. Ain't done. I could buy these from you for a total of 12,520 bells. Sound good? Sold. Thank you. Please come again. Again. <laughs> Lorenzo, not every turtle is Frank. <laughs> no, not Frank. Thank you, thank you. And I completely forgot to check the stock market. What's everybody's stock prices today? Because I have a lot of stuff to get rid of. 30? That's it? Oh no. I, I really need to get rid of these before it's too late. Pokemon fan says, I don't have a switch. That's unfortunate. What the f One moment here. Why, hippity skippity hoppity ho, now that you found me, I'll say a warm hello. I'm a lucky old bunny, yippity yipper, and here's a little tip, you can call me zipper. Yay! You can clap now. No, really, go on. Well, well, isn't this swell? 
Here you are, and here I am to tell you all about my favorite holiday. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not a costume. And don't you go snooping, got it? Zippity zap, enough of that. It's almost bunny day. Hop hop hooray. That's my favorite time to come out and play. Ugh, I've got so much prep work to do. I hope you can keep yourself busy. And guess what? This funny bunny has a bunny day secret just for you. Ready? Yippity skippity, here it is. The time has come. Let's look for eggs. That's my bunny plan. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Find them if you can. Did I make myself clear? Yes, no, maybe so. Hmm, how about this? There are six types of eggs hidden around the island, you see. So wonderful, all you should go look for them and then bring them back to wonderful old me. These eggs aren't hidden inside buildings, no siree. My eggs can only be found in the great outdoors. Check the trees, check the rocks, check the water too. Search the sky, search the ground, that's what you should do. And here's a little something I made for you too. That's a recipe for a bunny day bed. You can craft it with the eggs you find. And now, a big announcement. I sure hope you like this. I've hidden bunny day themed DIY recipes all around the island. The closer we get to bunny day, the more recipes I'll hide. If you find and craft all the DIY recipes I've hidden, why, you'll get a super dee-doopery present from me. Zippity skippity hoppity hey, it's gonna be uh, the wonderfully wonderfulest bunny day. Oh my god, I wanna jump it off a bridge. <laughs> what the fuck? I had to avoid saying what I wanted to say because if I said what I was going to say, they would take down my channel. <laughs> huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a bunny day bed. Also, thank you, Tomo. Bunny day fence. Huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a bunny day fence. How's your day going, hoof who? Let's talk. I'm glad for weather like this that's perfect for air drying my laundry. Well, you're up early, Cottontail. Good morning. What's the latest? I love how chill it is here. Like, you can sleep till noon and nobody even notices, Cottontail. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ooh, what's this? Spend bells to buy items. I could do that. You know, I really shouldn't have said something about the frames. I regret it now. Alright, I found a fossil. 
And my shovel's gone. <laughs> Goodbye, shovel. Let's make another one. Can I make another one? Stool, bed, fence. Speaking of bunny day, have you already done all of the, the Easter stuff, Lorenzo, in Final Fantasy XIV? Isn't there Easter stuff going on? You haven't logged in yet? Me either. <laughs> I was just gonna do it on the weekend. But I figured I should uh, record this bunny day thing, huh? It seemed important. What is a star costume? Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! Nope. How did I not sell the tilapia? Good job, Glow. Speaking of good job, Lorenzo, did you see that game, Good Job, on the eShop? <laughs> it reminded me of you. Because every time I ever make a mistake, good job. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Leaf eggs? What? Good job. Look, I dug up an earth egg. Can I eat them? Oh, you can eat them. I'm not going to eat it, but I can. Did Ashley just say that? She said, talk to you later, I'm driving. Is she texting and driving? <laughs> uh oh. I hope that's an April Fool's joke. I can I can see it now. The the police are behind her with the sirens go wee wee, and she's just driving. She didn't even hear it. She just. <laughs> hey, it's another Earth egg. All right. I wanted a fossil, but thank you. I hear it. It's across the water, but I hear it. Give give it a second. <clears throat> I 
get it. There's an event going on, but there's way too many balloons. Lorenzo says, too bad you miss out a DIY recipe if you're north. What do you mean? How so? Wouldn't I equally get something that's south? How does that work? I'm so confused. Oh, I have to put money away. I'll end up spending all of it anyway. It's fine. Oh, it's deli. Yay! Are you out for a walk? I want to chat. Another neat day on G Spot, Munch. He says munch. I think he likes food. Okay, I hear the balloon, but I don't see the balloon. There it is. M move fish. Move bug. What kind of flowers do you guys have? Like your native island flower. I have these things. You have wind flowers? I don't even know what that is. Fossil. That's what I wanted. Question, has anyone been on the uh, the Mystery Island tours since this event started? Because I'm wondering, uh, can you get more eggs on the Mystery Islands once you run out on your island? Or how does that work? To the luckiest, pluckiest finder of all. Boingity boing, and congratulations to you. You just got yourself an egg recipe. Can you hear the applause? Could there be others out there? Open your peepers and look about. The answer is yours to find. Yours truly, the lucky bunny. What? <laughs> bunny day wall? Ooh. Okay. Bunny day walk. Hey Glitter, what's up? Laundry? Do you need help? No. I'm just seeing if you need help. This an egg. You had a dream where they nerfed tarantula farming? 
You know, I haven't seen a single tarantula in my game because it's a northern hemisphere thing. I've seen in my entire playthrough maybe like three or four scorpions. And that's it. I have never gotten a tarantula slash scorpion island. I kind of wish I did. I hear that's a really good way to make money. But I made all of my money from fishing and catching, like, regular bugs like this. <laughs> Good morning, Milgoon. Welcome to the PowerPoint presentation. Because I had to open my goddamn mouth. Oh, hello. <laughs> Who's at the helm? Just give me five more minutes. <laughs> Later, somebody put salt in this water. Sorry, fellas. Already licked all these cookies. Had to test for raisins. <laughs> oh boy. Up we go. On your feet, sailor. This isn't our first mystery beach, and it won't be our last. Oh, I swallowed a lot of seawater. Come on, get it together. Talk to the local. Here we go. Hello, stranger. Is this your beach? Your stubborn commitment to shoving me awake tells me yes. Wait, I know you. You're rusty? No, you're Glowgasm. Hey, how have you been? As for me... I'm still trapped in a will-they-won't-they they relationship with that flirty siren we call the sea. And due to an unfortunate accident that wasn't my fault, probably, I'm shipwrecked. Yes, again. Does it count as shipwrecked if I don't know where the ship is? I should probably know this. Uh, I'll figure that out later. For now, I have to call my ship and summon another rescue. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh, uh, my, uh, oh my gosh! My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Ah, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, that could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple of hours. You, yes you, will you help me find my communicator parts? I'll look for them. Really? Wow, I haven't gotten a reception this sweet uh, and bubbly since I washed up at Old Coral Cola. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. I feel like Lorenzo designed this quest. Like, we need an idea for Gulliver in the new game. What should we do? I have an idea. His cell phone breaks, and then you have to find the parts in the sand. They're in the sand. <laughs> Good job, Lorenzo. You're promoted. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But yeah, my apologies for the really shitty stream quality. They're not giving me much of a choice these days. Ah, crap. My, I need to make another slingshot. Because there's another balloon. Slingshot, let's go! Where is the slingshot? Go fast! Money! What I was planning to do was just record this for YouTube and not stream it. Because I'm having such a hard, di hard time keeping a stable connection lately. And I was like, where's the fun in that? <laughs> so this is what we got. To whoever lifted this, I was pumping iron super sweaty when I slipped in the DIY idea and a weight slammed into my head. I'd kind of like to keep it a secret, but I'm going to trust you. Shh. Now go flick some DIY might. Go team DIY. Sheldon. Well, we all know his secret now. Shh. Tree standy. Cool. Oh, come on. So is this the whole event for the bunny day? You just find recipes and eggs and then you craft the stuff, that's it? Am I missing something? Yeah, Milgoon, welcome to... Uh, it's officially spring now. In, uh, in your, on your island. You know what the best part about cherry blossoms is? You can tell which trees are fruit trees and which trees are not fruit trees just by looking at them. So if you need to chop some trees... <laughs> I can't tell. All my trees look the same. Hey, Tin! Also, Chad, you guys know Tin. If you don't know Tin, make sure you go follow him because he's the world's greatest crane game master. <laughs> the greatest crane game master of all time. crap do I need to craft any of this stuff? Three water eggs. This, uh, whoa, okay, the bed needs a lot. <laughs> Wood egg. Ah, oh, that's probably from chopping the tree. I have to make a stone axe, huh? Wall, same thing. 
fence, same thing. I guess this is the cheapest one. <clears throat> Hippity ho, what do you know? Bunny day is April 12th. I promise to bounce right on back to this island on that wonderful, thunderful day. In the meantime, Skipper, don't tell anyone you ran into Old Zipper. It'll be a funny bunny surprise. Okay. Thank you, Mayfly. And look at that, you spelled his name right. <laughs> This mayfly always gets it wrong. <clears throat> oh yeah, daily bonus. Forgot about that. Anything new in here? No. I don't have a garbage can. I might want to grab that. I don't have this either. I like how there's just shirts in this game that says hello in every language. Oh, it's KK song. I know this one. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. All right, see you later. I think I have both of these already. I noticed that there's a knapsack in here that I haven't bought yet because I just don't like the design. But I haven't found any other backpacks in the entire game so far. Does anyone know, is this the only backpack? I haven't seen any other backpacks. There's a lot. Hmm. I guess I gotta go back to the uh, the tailor shop. I don't like this song. Did anybody buy this? This spot is reserved for Megan's new home. Who the hell is Megan? I like the, the 5 p.m. music in this game. Oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the the squirrel villagers. I like I like Marshall, but that's it, J just Marshall. And who might you be? A pleasure to meet you. I just moved here today myself. Call me Pecan. I take it you live on this island. You know, I moved here because it's quite the up and coming destination. Well, once I'm done unpacking, I'd love to have you over for a chat. I'm looking forward to it already. And static? No, I don't like static. <laughs> I know that's your favorite, but I, 
I can't. I can't do it. May fly guess it. Okay, let me say hi to everybody. Hold on. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? And there we go. All right, Glowgasm needs something. What you up to? You're not going to believe it. I made a pear umbrella. I was out jogging the other day and somewhere around the 53rd mile inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out. And stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine. And you know I'm all about sharing my routines. So what do you say? You want to get built making yourself a pear umbrella? Teach me. How did I just whistle by saying Did you hear that? <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> okay, fixed it. Well, I could. Or I could give you this paper that I wrote the recipe on. I vote for the paper. As long as you can read my handwriting, you've got this. Milgum says, Glow, you have Pierce too? Yeah. He was one of my first two villagers. It was uh, Pierce and Mira. Who did you get? Alright, I can make the pear umbrella. You're just raring to go. So, uh, what do you need, Hawkeye? This is for you. Huh? This cupcake is a gift for me? Yes, I did extra sit-ups just in case I got some cake today. Thanks. Oh yeah, I have something to give you too. You'll start training with me every day so you're ready for next year's birthday, yeah, Hawkeye? What the hell did he give me? What is this? A pilot's hat. I'm the captain now. <laughs> well, how do I take it off? Your first two were Pierce and Cherry. Oh, I like Cherry. Cherry's cool. What the hell's going on in here? Klaus and blue balls in the hot tub? Did that toilet just open by itself? Oh my... She's using the bidet! Did I got Klaus for his birthday? Are you here to see Klaus 2, Glogasm? Let's talk. Glogasm, do you hang out at Klaus's place a lot? I so never thought I'd see you both here at the same time. This just turned into a big time mini party. Oh, <laughs> 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 
late. Am I too late to wish you a happy birthday? Don't care. Doing it anyway. Happy birthday. Hey, take this. Whoa, I won't say no to that. Strudel, this looks delicious. Wow, you're giving stuff away? That's classic glowgasm. Well, allow me to pull a classic Klaus. I got something for you, too. Anyway, I hope you had a great birthday celebration, Strudel. Okay. You're off the hook, Klaus. Apparently, Klaus and I both shared a birthday yesterday. And he was kind of an asshole about it. <laughs> so I was like, dude, it, as soon as somebody has to move out of the town, Klaus is going first. But, you know, he changed my mind. He's Klaus isn't a bad guy at all. Double-sided wall clock. Huh. Why wow, that's a lot of people online. <laughs> I'm online. It was your birthday? Yes, yesterday. It's not my birthday anymore. I am now years old. Thank you. <laughs> Is it weird that I like to leave everything outside until nighttime? Because I don't want to wake up, uh, I don't want to wake up Blathers. Look at him. I don't want to wake him up. <laughs> I let him sleep. Thank you, freelancers. Also, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. Thank you. Whoa, thank you. Congrats on surviving another year. Bless. What the hell was that? <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Nobody ever presses that button. Wait a minute. I need to go see what just happened. One phone with chat. <laughs> uh... Wow, I haven't had to log into this thing in a long time. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Give me a minute. I'm getting there. Log in. It was Tinner. Tinner 10 10. With 420. And he says, congrats on surviving another year. To <laughs> me. Thank you, Tin. I never have that open. Who, who uses that? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll use that to buy some more toilet paper. <laughs> I gotta get some more toilet paper. You know, I think that's what happened. Blue Balls didn't have any more toilet paper. So she had to go, she had to go to Klaus's house to wash her ass off with, <laughs> with the bidet. 
Oh, it all makes sense now. Mystery solved. I wonder, can I sneak up on them? Oh, I can't sneak up on him. He's on to me now. You win this time, but I don't trust you. Who did I not talk to? Wait a minute. Blue Bear already went home? I think she really did just have to go wash her ass. Cause she went right home afterwards. <laughs> hey there, welcome to my humble abode, Peach. What's the latest? The whole island is getting ready for Bunny Day. Isn't it the best? Wanna know why I love Bunny Day so much? It's because the weirdest stuff happens. Like, if you stand next to a coconut tree and give it a good smack, a load of wood eggs falls out. Candy eggs growing on trees? That's bunny day for you, Peach. Huh. Hey, Nero, what's up, man? Yes, I'm, I'm still alive. I'm not, I'm not retired, all right? I'm, I'm just tired. <laughs> it's been four years. I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just taking a little uh, me time, you know? I heard a balloon, but I don't see it. Maybe it's too late and I lost it. Lorenzo says, I made coffee. What did I miss? You missed it. Lorenzo, uh, zipper, zipper bunny, we snuck up behind them and it actually, uh, we undid the zipper and we saw who was inside. We actually got to see who's in the zipper costume. You might have to roll the stream back. April Fools! <laughs> he said, wait, really? <laughs> April Fools, Lorenzo! Oh... <laughs> no, this night that never happened. I'm just an asshole. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Okay, something that actually happened, not a joke. I went to Klaus's house. And Blue Bear was in Klaus's house sitting on the bidet. And we took a picture with her sitting on the bidet in Klaus's house just she didn't care in front of everyone. She <laughs> And then right after that she went home. I think she ran out of toilet paper. What hello? Um I just wanted to make sure to thank you, Glogasm. They say you've been trying to get KK to notice our island, so he'll come perform here. Hoof hoo. 
I'm grateful to you for trying to make this happen, Glowgasm. Between you and me, I think I might be the biggest KK fan on the island. Actually, I have something right here that might help. I thought maybe you could use my air circulator here. For your big G-spot promotion, I mean. You know, that's a good question. How are we doing? Because the last time I checked, uh, we weren't doing very well. Did anybody ever get KK to come to their town yet? Because <laughs> uh, I'm not doing so well. Glowgasm, good morning! How can I help you today? Let's talk island of Vals. So you're curious about the current image of G-Spot? Right now, G-Spot has a two-star rating. There's some positive buzz floating around about our island. Folks are starting to take notice. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. I keep hearing all things should be in moderation, but an island's image is worth working hard for, ain't it? Well, me and my bro will be backing you up from behind the scenes, so you better just do your best. You, 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 what do your best, capiche? Capiche? Who the hell? Someone and their brother. It sounds like Timmy and Tommy, but I never heard Timmy and Tommy in my entire life say capiche. Well, there you have it. Compared with the last report, more folks responded positively to our island scenery. Of course, there's always room for improvement, isn't there? So keep contributing however you can, and soon this island will be decorated to perfection. I think you could create some pretty scenery and memorable vistas if you use some fencing here and there. Give it a try and see how it looks. And there you have it. Just let me know next time you'd like to hear the latest island feedback. Can I help you with anything else? No, I'm good. Alright then, if there's anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Alright, I see what I gotta do. I need to find a bunch of cool furniture and like fences and shit, and then put it all outside. And try to like make outside look nice. But, like, I don't know. I guess I could do something temporarily just to get KK Slider and get rid of it all later. Because at the moment, I don't really like anything that I have, you know? Also, I have a question. It's just an observation. I'm, I'm probably wrong. But uh, I met... Uh, Two days ago, CJ came to my town for the first time, and then the next day, Flick came over, right? And uh, what Flick does is if you give him three bugs of, of like uh, the same type, he'll he'll make a model of the bug for you, right? And then uh, CJ, CJ, if you give him three of any kind of fish, like three of the same type. He'll make you uh, uh, like a fish model, but he doesn't make it. He, what he said was, oh, my partner, my partner will make a th They keep referring to each other. When you talk to them, they keep saying my partner. I think CJ and, and, and Flick are boyfriends. That's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, 
Ah, Gogasm, hello, hello. This is a construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? Tomo says it's strongly hinted that it's Chip who makes the miniature fish model. Actually, no, it's not. CJ says when you give him the fish, he said, normally my partner only uh, makes models of bugs. Chip doesn't make any fucking bugs. <laughs> We're not talking about Chip. Uh, let's see. I think it was this one. Let's talk infrastructure. Let's chat. There's a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind? Sell some land. Ah, so you'll help prep some land for a future home? Excellent. I do have to charge a small fee of 10,000 bells, but if someone moves in, you'll earn miles for your efforts. Does that sound okay to you? Will you help find and prep a plot of land? Sure will. Well then, first I'll just collect the fee. That'll be 10,000 bells, please. Thank you very much. I'll just hand over the housing kit you'll need. Use it to claim a plot for a new house, Glogasm. Just use the kit when you find a good location. Considering our island population and the land we have available, I do believe this will be our last plot. I hope you're waiting with bated breath to see who picks the plots you've worked so hard to set up. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hmm? I'm good. Of course, of course. I'll be here when you need me. I have a question. Let's say my town is completely full. Like, it, everybody lives in all of the houses. If I use an amiibo card... For, like, I don't know. For instance, I use a Filbert amiibo card. Can I tell Filbert to move in and kick someone else out? Like in New Leaf? <laughs> I have to find a spot for this thing. You can force push them out. Huh. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. These animals better watch their back. <laughs> you better watch your back, animals. to move back a little bit. Okay, that's too far back. Let me imagine it. Okay. I picked a spot for a home to be built in the future. A new island neighbor is potentially a new island friend. Also, uh, Lorenzo, earlier you were asking about Gulliver, and you were like, doesn't Gulliver have a spaceship? 
he did in, I want to say, Wild World? And maybe also City Folk as well? But now he just has a boat or something. Wolf. How's it going? Long time no see. Stupid sea bass. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, come on, man. question each tire well, well every every piece of garbage tires and and uh, cans and boots they sell for for 10 bells each at the store right if I craft it I like I, I recycle it into a furniture Will I get more money? Like, what? It's, it's ten bells per tire. If I use three tires to make the, the, like, triple tire thing, is that worth 30 bells and it's the same? Or is it worth more than that? Because I have so much garbage and I don't know what to do with it. Bunny Day Merry Balloons. Okay. I learned Bunny Day Merry Balloons. Just give it to your neighbors. <laughs> Before you say anything, yes, I know my house is awful. All right, it's just storage space. I don't actually live in here. I sleep in my race car bed, and then that's it. <laughs> this is just storage space for now. I haven't decided what I wanted to do with my house yet. I'll start from here. Ooh, purple. Wait, what made purple? Yellow? How did that happen?
I don't understand what I did to create purple. Fuck. checked yet. Hey there, welcome to Evil Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I spent an hour yesterday buying everything they had at the store in every possible color combination. <laughs> because... You, you, you can only put one of every type on at a time and you, to buy it, and then you gotta go in and out of this changing room every time. It takes so long. Why can't I just buy it? <laughs> oh. If you need something, could you talk to the other hedgehog, please? Hmm. I'm wondering if it's gonna be like the other Animal Crossings, where after a while she starts talking to you? Oh, do you need the fitting room? Go right ahead. What's in here? Career jacket. Flannel shirt, fuzzy vest, space parka, sweater on shirt. Wow. Wow. Hey, come on, Scoob. We <laughs> come on, Scoob. We gotta go for solve the mysteries. Oh, jeez. Um, basketball shorts, denim cutoffs, flare skirt, frog costume. What? Well, hold on. Interesting. Ooh. Scoopity poop. Whoopty scoop. Scoopty whoopty poop. <laughs> uh, hmm. Cowboy boots? Oh. Oh, this is what I was looking for. But what color? All of the colors. I'm gonna have to come back later and do some shopping. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm just looking to see what they have. All done, nothing caught your eye? Now I'm gonna have to spend an entire hour buying everything in the store. Thanks, please come again. Oh shit. All right, well. Back to shaking trees. Then I'm gonna have to make a stone ax and start hitting trees for wood eggs. Fuck. 
This tree's not even fully grown yet. seen a single wasp. Where are the wasps at? There we go. Also, I planted this tree yesterday and it hasn't grown yet. Wait, no, never, no, I did that today, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm stupid. I remember this now. fish Oh Okay Here's an egg Also, Mayfly, I don't know if she did it on purpose or not, but she planted a tree here yesterday. What? What is this? <laughs> Mayfly, why? it up soon and then I'm gonna start the uh, the 12 hour don't starve together stream <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to make some breakfast first you know and then we're gonna do 12 hours of don't starve together if I made good use of the eggs patterning Oh, I've got some DIY recipe ideas. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Oh. If you if you get a lot of one kind of egg, you can make clothing of that egg's pattern. So there's going to be like a sky egg outfit and an earth egg outfit 
and water egg outfit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's too much. There's too much. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to be real busy in Animal Crossing for the next... What well, was it? Almost two whole weeks? <clears throat> Twelve days? hard time remembering which trees I shook and which trees I didn't shake. Stupid bass. <laughs> <clears throat> I hear another balloon. But I'm not seeing it. Okay. And just like that, I don't remember what trees I shook. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. got something for you. Check it. I found an extra DIY recipe for a bunny day crown while I was looking for my wristwatch. You want it? Still wish I knew where my wristwatch got to. Anyway, can't wait to see what you do with that recipe, Cottontail. I'm sorry, a crown? What? A bunny day crown? What is this? Whoa, she's lifting! Damn! <laughs> ah, I see. One of every egg.
you're a balloon. I'm a lion. Already another one. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, is it two balloons? <laughs> what the fuck? What is happening? If I was quicker, if I could have like double shot both of the balloons at the same time, that would have been cool. It's too late now. <laughs> remembering which trees I shook but I have to keep stopping to go shoot balloons I don't remember what I was doing Sorry, Deli. I gotta shake this tree. Bunny day festive balloons. Don't I already have? No, no, I have merry balloons. This is different. Okay. How do you find balloons so easily? With my ears. You can hear them.
What are they talking about? Hey, Norma, can you suggest me a book? Oh, you read, Deli? That's rather surprising. Well, let's see. I don't know what kind of books you enjoy, but my favorites are... You can throw pottery, too, and digging for gold. Okay, okay, um... Which one has more pictures? Pictures? Neither book has any pictures. They're both novels written for discerning adults. Okay... Which one got turned into the bester movie? I can snack while I watch. Digging for Gold is a popcorn movie. That means you don't care what it's about since you're eating popcorn. Terrible adaptation of the novel, of course. However, eating popcorn is pretty great. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I got it. I don't even know what I picked up. I, I can't see. Also, I never did check what my morning bell, uh, what is it, turnip prices? I still haven't checked. I, I spent 700,000 bells at 90 bells a turnip. <laughs> I really need to offload these turnips. Logasm, welcome, welcome. What do you need today? I want to sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Offering? Boop, 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 boop. That's it. That's all. Yep. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from you for a total of 13,500 bells. Sound good? Sold. Thank you. Please come again. Again. Tommy. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. What do you need? Turnip prices? The current price of turnips is 182 bells per turnip. Is there anything else you can uh, we can do for you today? Today, okay, I can double my money. I went from ninety to one hundred and eighty-two. This, this over twice as much. But can I do better? Anybody, anybody got some? Uh, <laughs> anybody got some good prices? Like, uh, 300 plus bells? Hmm. I might just sell them. Because I'm having a bad feeling about the bells prices. The bells prices? Turnip prices. See you later. Understood. Understood. Please let me know if you need help with anything else. Anything else. Hey, Tyler Strog. Hundred and nineteen. 
I think I'm just gonna sell him and take just take the double instead of being greedy. I'm like, yeah, I could probably do better, but at the same time, I could also lose all of my money. You know? Mayfly, are you see Mayfly, you motherfucker. I'm not stupid. Mayfly, that's April Fools. <laughs> April Fools glow. Okay, you better not be lying to me. Hold on. I believe you. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me just make room in my inventory here. Hold on. Ah, crap. I... I fucked up. Hold on. You ever accidentally plant weeds? I'm gonna have to make two trips, Mayfly, because I have like two pages worth of of uh, turnips. Is that okay? And there's only like half an hour left. I gotta go fast. Fuck it, go. I swear to God, if I if I get there and it's not true, <laughs> six hundred and one bells. You just solved all of my problems. There's so much money. Well, time to clean up my house, sort of. Wait! No, no! I have more time than I thought I do. I was like, wait, 600? But there's only half an hour left. I don't know if we're gonna all make it. Mayfly's an hour in the future. That's her afternoon price, not her morning price. It's already, like, 1230 where she lives. We, we have all day. It's fine. <laughs> We don't have to rush. I was panicking for a minute there. Mayfly, I am on my way. Her town is probably slammed right now. Remember last night? 
Um, last night I went to go play some Animal Crossing and Mayfly was on. And she's like, Oh, my gate's open. Uh, my gate's open if, if anyone wants to come over and buy stuff. And I was like, fuck yeah. I go to Mayfly's town. <laughs> and then immediately I was like, I need to get out of here. Because everybody who I didn't want to talk to all showed up at her town at the same time. And I was like, uh, goodbye. <laughs> <clears throat> but you got a really nice looking town, Mayfly. It looks good. I saw you lined up all of your stores, kind of like a main street. I'm assuming you're eventually gonna put down like a like a pathway whenever pathways are a thing. Uh, search for a friend. Yes. Dark side. Mayfly, you're about to pay for my whole house. <laughs> Well, technically, I'm about to pay for my whole house, but you helped with the, the prices. Thank you. I'm not going to give Mayfly all the credit. <laughs> Dark side, are we going to fight a Kingdom Hearts boss? Yes. I challenge, I challenge you, chat. To play the entire Kingdom Hearts trilogy, including side games, all the Kingdom Heartses, right? Every time they say the word darkness, you gotta take a shot. <laughs> you gotta, every time they say darkness, take a shot. It's the Kingdom Hearts drinking game. Is this Sterling? That yeah, bird guy? Who the hell even lives in this town? Whoa, hold on. Uh, man. <laughs> Look at those eyebrows! Oh my god. Oh, I like Zucker. That's a cool, uh, villager. Do we call them villagers? What do we call them? Neighbors? Is this Mayfly's house? I'm gonna check that out in a minute. Hold on. Alright, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, -ho, and what do we have here? I'm impressed that you traveled all the way to our fair island. What can I do you for today? Turnip prices? The current price for turnips is 601 bells per turnip. Is there anything else you could do? I could do for you today? I want to sell. Sell, sell, sell. <laughs> of course. What exactly are you offering? All of them. All, all. Take it. Sell. <laughs> 
Oh my god, a breach! Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done! I can buy these from you for a total of 2,404,000 bells. Sound good? Sold. Thank you for your business. I'll go ahead and put any excess bells into bags in your pockets. Hold on. Mayfly, I need to go home and come back. I have more turnips. <laughs> Is that a penis? That kind of looks like a penis. You got the shaft and the balls, right? You see it? I'll be right back, Bayfly. I'm sorry. She wasn't lying. It's not an April Fool's. It's real. Lorenzo says, damn, I wish I bought turnips. <laughs> Why didn't you buy turnips? You need to, you need the stonks. Also, hello, Okiers. Also, Tyler Strong says, "Can I stop by your town after, to to uh, after you sell your turnips? I have a little gift for you. I don't normally accept gifts from people because I'm trying to do everything on my own. But yesterday was my birthday, and I'll just chalk it up to it's a birthday gift. <laughs> so yeah, sure." I need to add you to my friends anyway. <clears throat> okay, hold on. I got more. It's not over yet. Give me a minute. I need to make a stop real quick. Loan payment, pay from pockets, full amount. Yes, I finished paying off my home loan. Hey, you. Well, hello there, Glowgasm. Let me offer you yet another hearty congratulations. From one entrepreneur to another, you certainly seem to have a knack for managing your bells. Yes, yes. Indeed, think of how far you've come. From a simple tent to a grand two-story home. Remarkable. Now, surely you have no need of additional space. And yet, where would we be if we never shot for the moon? Certainly not living on this island paradise. So with no agenda of procuring further business, I tell you that I can build you a basement. Do with that information what you will. And once again, congratulations. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, oh, Glowgasm, hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? About my home. Time to talk about your home, hmm? What shall we discuss? I want to expand. Oh, are you interested in having your very own basement? 
Now, you've weathered some serious sticker shock before, so I'm sure you can handle it. But this'll be spendy. All told, we'll be looking at a grand total of 2,498,000 bells. Are you still interested? Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. I'll get the construction started right away. Everything should be ready for you by tomorrow morning. So exciting, exciting indeed. Hey, hold my vacation juice. I'll be right back. Sticker shock. Hold on. <laughs> I'll be right back. <clears throat> Also, Era, um, I really liked that, that star, was it star net that you gave me yesterday? I liked it so much, in fact, that I ended up breaking it because I used it so much. <laughs> it's broken. It's such a cool, uh, uh, tool item. Let me just drop some money so I got room, you know. I'm so full of money, I need to make room. Oh. We got some serious stonks, chat. Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Totoro, with the 31 months. Totoro, thank you very much. How've you been? Alright, let me go drop off these stonks. I'll be right back. And then we can pay for our house again. <laughs> Oh yeah, some serious sticker shock incoming. Stupid raccoon. Hold on. I'm on my way back, Mayfly. You're in your photography class right now? That doesn't sound like doctor classes. <laughs> Unless you're trying to take x-rays. Listen, my son, my son deserves the best, okay? He's gonna be a doctor. You're not gonna be taking pictures of Instagram waifus. For, you need to be a doctor, Totoro. <laughs> You're an art major now. Double major with design. You want to do fashion design. Well, you know what, Totoro? You do whatever makes you happy. Just don't forget me when you're a super famous fashion designer and I want you to make me a really cool costume. <laughs> I need a, I need a real cool costume, all right? I got some ideas. How packed is Mayfly's town right now? With her 600 bells stonks. Uh, 
I wasn't expecting 600, but I was about to sell them for 180 to <laughs> me. 600! Mayfly, you crazy. Hey, Mayfly. Now, what if while I was in my town Mayfly time traveled and now her her prices is like five bells and I just sold all of them and then she goes April Fools <laughs> I want to sell Hundred and sixty-three thousand six hundred bells. I can already pay for the basement. That's perfect. Sold. Thank you for your business. I'll go ahead and put any excess bells into the bags in your pockets. <laughs> I can't even talk that much. Well, I'm rich. Let's buy some plants. What's this? Anthurium plant. I'll take one. Sure. I'm rich now. Yep. What about this? What's this? Moss ball. I'll take one. <laughs> Let me go check out your clothing store real quick. What do you got in here? Hello there. Oh, do you need the fitting room? Go right ahead. What's in here? Wait, wait, if I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this, now I'm Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Pachow! Alright, hold on. Uh, how do I take all this off? Wait. That's fancy looking. Comedian's outfit. Well, now I have to buy them. But not right now. Royal shirt. Hmm. Pompadour wig. 
Hey, this is our turf. <laughs> no. Oh, there you go. Hey, you guys need some protection from the virus? I got you. Hey Mayfly, which one did you give me yesterday? Was it this this first one? Or was it the second one? I don't have it on me so I can't check. I think you gave me this one, right? The second one? Or was it the first one? Hmm. I'm just gonna take a chance and grab this first one. Thanks a bunch. I'll go ahead and slip your purchase into your inventory for you. Thanks for stopping by. All right, before I leave, I'm gonna scope out Mayfly's house. You got in here. You got a welcome sign on the door. <laughs> she has tissues. What's that fish? Oh yeah, what is that fish? What the hell is that? I know this is a, what, sea butterfly? But this thing looks freaky looking. What the hell is this, Mayfly? Why is it version 1.1.1 now? Beca wait, 1A or just 1.1? Because they removed the, the duplication glitch. So far, I like what I see, Mayfly. It's a thousand times better than my house. Whoa. Somebody likes KK Slider. How's it going? The fish is a barrel eye. Oh. It's a weird looking fish. Also, that's a nice touch. She has a panda because her dog's name is Panda. What the? Magic toilet. It opened and closed by itself. It's haunted. What the? Why do you have a pile of leaves in your room? Oh, it's for the puppies, isn't it? So they can play in it, right? There's a litter box next to it, but like, why is there leaves? Oh, there's a lot of garbage in here. 
What is this super attack? Ah. That was cool how I was moving it with my mind. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> What is this thing? Is this a bamboo shoot lamp? Bamboo shoot lamp? That's pretty cool. Hey, Kiv! What's up, man? Gotta say, you got a nice house, Mayfly. You don't just walk in and throw rocks and clay on the floor. You know, sticks like some people. Thank you, Mayfly. This Mayfly's house? Yes, yes it is. And now I'm going home. To my garbage town. <laughs> Where's the sweatshop? Well, she doesn't have a basement yet. I'm sure that's coming in the future. so empty compared to Mayfly's town. Now I see why it's only two stars. <laughs> I see. It makes sense now. I thought I was doing a good job. No, I was wrong. Hey, blue balls. All right, give me one minute. What did they say? It was like two and a half mil uh, million. Just to be safe with... It'll look good when it's done, okay? I'm still, it's a work in progress. Can I even pay for it yet? Or is it too soon? It's too soon. I gotta wait until tomorrow. Well, I'll be back then. Alright, uh, Tyler Strog, I'm gonna come open the gate so you can, uh, drop off whatever the thingy is, and then I'll add you to my, my friends list. And then I think I'm gonna wrap it up, and just, uh, grind out the bu bunny event all day off stream. Try to, try to get all the, uh, the eggs. Oh, 
Milgoon says, I actually have something for you too, if that's okay. This is a headpiece. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna open my gate anyway. I'll, I'll throw you guys dodo codes so I don't get slammed by a bunch of randoms. I think we did a good job. <laughs> Thank you again, Mayfly, for letting me sell all my turnips in your town. If anybody has turnips to sell, at the moment, Mayfly's turnip prices is 600 bells. <laughs> and like, what was it, like 601 bells or 604? Some crazy number. Walking around with a sandwich. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. All right, let me let me open up. <clears throat> uh, visitors. Online. Roger. I believed you at 600 bells, but 604 is just too outrageous. It might be 601, I don't remember. It's some crazy number. But yes, it <laughs> I thought she was April Foolsing me at first. Because I was about to sell them for 180. Alright, Dodo Code. You, you can't, you're not allowed to see. Hold on. <laughs> Only my uh, friends? No, hold on. Okay, I got the dodo code. Yes, dodo code. What was it? Milgoon and Tylestrog, right? Whisper. I'm whispering you to dodo codes. Alright. Let's see here. It's uh, six, nine, six, nine, six. Yeah, that's it. Six, nine, four, twenty. This. <laughs> Where the hell is Tylestrog? Alright. I whispered the dodo codes. <sighs> Looks like someone's on their way here. Watch it's Lorenzo somehow. <laughs> I didn't even give him a dodo code. Who, how the fuck? Milgoon from Tesmali.
We're gonna find out that the whole time Milgoon was just Lorenzo's alt account. And it's it's just him. <laughs> I'm onto your shit! It's the biggest April Fools ever. He showed up in his school uniform and everything because he's he's a smart kid now. High five, Milgoon. Stay in school. How do I add you to my friends again? Hold on. Milgoon. Did you see that? Hold on. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> What's this? Oh, thank you, Milgoon. Tyler from Basket. So called Grandpa. Okay, Boomer. What is that on your face? I'm scared. Are you eating spaghetti? Is it? <laughs> he has spaghetti all over his face. What's happening? What's this thing? Samurai wig? Whoa, hold on. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? Uh. Whoa, what's that? Poo. Hey, that is Poo from Earthbound. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me add you. Hold Phone. Where's Tyler Strong? Tyler. I got you. Why is his name Pooh? I never understood that. Maniac! Oh hell no. Pick a number from 1 to 5. 69. Hellkith! Are you at work right now? Because I can toss you a dodo code real quick and you can come best friend me. Okay, hell kid, I'm sending you a dodo code. Come here. What did he just say? I wasn't looking. What? That doesn't match the requirements. Okay, uh, between one and five. One. Because I'm the greatest. <laughs> What's 
say? Oh, I, did I pick right? What were the other options? Now I want to know. Thank you very much. Pick a number between one and four. One. Ho 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 ho! I win again! Thank you. Thank you very much. Pick a number between one and three. One. <laughs> Looks like someone's here. It's Hellkith, right? Unhindered Island Dweller. Hellkith from Avalar. Avalar? Why do I know that? Avalar. Isn't that like where Spyro lives? No. What the hell is Avalar? <laughs> it's from Spyro to. I knew it! <laughs> Out of all the Spyro games, I think Ripto's Rage was my favorite one. I don't know, it just felt different than the other ones. Hellkith from Avala- WHAT HAPPENED TO YOUR FACE?! Who hurt you? What happened to my hair? <laughs> he says pick a number between one and two. Hmm. One. <laughs> Because I'm the greatest. How do I... Where's Hellkit? Hellkit! Become best friends. Thanks, Hellkit. What's with all these musical instruments? <laughs> Pick the number one. Well... You left me with no choice. One. <laughs> hey! They were all the same prize. <laughs> Thank you very much. This will go to a uh, beautifying G spot. And, and potentially getting KK Slider here. Pick a number between 1 and 420. 69. Easy. Haha! <laughs> I win! <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I am now years old. I'm at the age now where I don't talk about my age anymore. That's how old I am. <laughs> Alright, 
Well, I got everybody on my best friends. I got some Nook Miles here. Okay, well, thank you for visiting. It's been fun. Thank you for the birthday gifts. With your crazy music. But I'm gonna wrap it up here. And then I'm gonna I'm go grind out this uh, bunny day stuff. And get some eggs. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching. And keeping me company. It's been, it's been fun. Um, I'll be around. I, I got a Discord if, if anybody wants to come find me on Discord. And I upload all of my shitty broadcasts to YouTube. <laughs> you ever want to catch up on something you missed? And I got a Twitter. There's a, there's a Twitter that I, I, I don't know, I say stuff sometimes. What a weird wig. I'm gonna put that in my, my box. <clears throat> but thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you need me for anything, I'll be on Discord. And uh, I'm gonna just go hang out, lay down on the couch, and be a vegetable. And gather some chocolate eggs, I guess. What's going on here? Whoa, whoa, shh, whoa, whoa. I missed it! They were saying something. They're planning something behind my back. They're, play they're plotting against me. I bet it had something to do why Blue Bear was at Klaus's house earlier using his bidet. <laughs> Catch you later, everybody. I got some work to do. Wait for the good part. Hold on. There's a good part. Wait. Wait for it.